Welcome back to the Sean Trey Show. I have a really awesome guest with me today. Now, would you like to introduce yourself and tell people who you are and what you do? All right, I'm uh, Tech Togo. I'm an uh, artist from uh, Michigan, from Grand Rapids. Um, so I'm like, a, I guess, uh, I guess you would say like a different ranges of artists from music, uh, traditional uh, art, um, fashion, That's film, awesome. you name it. It's trying to, it's trying to get my hands in there. That's awesome. Now, if you could go back in time and give some advice to your younger self, what advice would you give yourself? <sighs> right. No, no time changes. We're not, we're not talking about changing things, but just what advice would you give yourself? Um, man, even to not, even my not so like younger self, be like super like consistent. I like that. Like stay, stay really persistent. Again, it, I, I'll go back to that Rick James thing. It's like, it, I've been that person is like, something to start taking off a little bit and then there's like a little bit of a lull yeah and it's like you gotta like you might be missing it you know it's like man did i just you might have missed those next couple of steps might have been like something bigger yeah you know what i mean and you don't realize man you could be you could be like spiraling back down the square too you know you're not directly on the bottom again but man you were like about to take off on SpaceX if you, you know, if you would have just kept going. Right. So, and you kind of chilled out and, you know, now you're back like on uh, a 747 or whatever. So, I mean, it's not like, mm-hmm. so, sometimes it's not necessarily you go all the way back down to the bottom, but staying, I think, just consistent, I think, takes you places. And I think that's now even when, like, how things are now, everything's about just being like, content wise and being consistent with the content yeah. and all that social media stuff like that i think that's 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 key like now and i think that was even before that time i think that's like a thing you know it's like stay like grinding you know what I mean? stay grinding don't that let off the be, gas don't that's don't gonna be the, the title gas, for like this episode moving. man mm. that will be the title for this mm. i love mm. that mm. and some mm. people don't like it for me i love it man mm but mm-hmm. I'm also I'm also the type of person where I love a fight. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. like, even if it's like, and I'm not talking going out and fighting someone on the street, but I'm talking like, <laughs> I like the adversity. I love yeah, yeah. the challenge. The challenging myself. I yeah. love testing myself. Yeah. You yeah. know? Because it's like, if it's easy, hell man, that sucks. No one wants mm-hmm. it easy. You know, mm-hmm. I want it. It's almost not as interesting, right? Right. We well, you know, think yeah. about it this way. Right. Because from the film side. Right. You know, I studied mm-hmm. acting and such like and, and with when you do screenwriting. Right. Let's think about John Wick. One of my favorite. I love mm-hmm. John Wick. Mm-hmm. It's like if John like, you know, in that movie, if he the guy hurts his dog, kills the dog and then he walks up and he goes, boom, it's a really boring movie. You know, <laughs> he, he has to. <laughs> Every single person that punches him, every hit he takes, everything, it's like because it's it's not about the dog. It's about mm, right. it's about his love for his wife. And this dog was a symbol mm, of that. Mm, it was a pure mm, symbol. And like it mm, was like good versus evil. And John's like mm, John is this is the the embodiment of of like a vengeance, you know, of righteous mm, vengeance at that point in time and wreaking havoc on this world of evil, you know, mm, because something pure was destroyed. And and like, but you know, he has to earn it. Or maybe let's have, there's a, there's an apartment building next to me and it's about mm-hmm. 40 stories tall, right? Well, let's imagine my wife and daughter are at the top of the building and the movie mm-hmm. is about me going to get them. Well, I walk over, press the elevator. <laughs> go to the top. Hey guys, let's go. <laughs> That's a really horrible movie, right? But what if, what if the power's out? Okay, mm-hmm. suddenly suddenly we got some obstacles. My character has to walk to the top. But that's still, you know, mm-hmm. it takes me 30 minutes. I get them and I come out. All right, power's out and we got zombies. Now you got a movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. Now you got that's kind of like the structure. Yeah, that's the structure for like you know that's the structure for writing stories. Like you have to have some some things have to happen at key points. You know, what I mean, to keep things going on. You yep. know, what I mean? or else or else it's like it's not a good script. And the, the more know? obstacles that you throw in there for your character, the more mm -hmm. the more that you you create something that people are like, damn mm -hmm. now can, can, they can grab onto and really you know yeah. Yeah, because they want us to get involved with the character. Yeah, yep. And I mean, yeah. and as simple as that story sounded, that was the movie, The Raid. Mm -hmm. Like, like the guy needs to go rescue his brother, and he's got to fight his way to the top of this damn apartment building because there's kung fu people up and down, and there's martial artists up and down the building. Solid, there you solid, go. solid plot line. Versus The Raid Two didn't 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 keep it as well because they added all this other stuff in there. But again, we like to face adversity. It makes us. Mm -hmm. It makes us stronger. It makes us more, yes. more. I don't know, just better people. I think. <laughs> I think so too. No, I no, agree. If totally you could, um, um, if you had a, a Aladdin's lamp, from lamp, <laughs> Gene pops up, what would you wish for? <laughs> right, like just anything. Let's say something related to your career. And then something in okay. personal. Or it could be the world, you know. Hmm. I would say career wise, just what we're working on to com like really like take off. And that'd be like the 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 lead the lead that's the flagship of what we're doing. And so other things like just fall up under that for that just to like take off and be like a complete a complete light thing i like that. um like a big uh it kind of almost be like a like a lvmh or something like that you know but nice. other things branch off of that you know yeah um yeah um other than that man i think like On a worldly, on a worldly thing, this is like this perfect world thing. Um, I think people are like, I don't know. I feel like we're losing like uh, the understanding of like other people, right? And other people's like situation. Where I think like a lot of we're becoming more like uh, me, self centered, me, 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 me. And maybe, maybe it's just a, I don't know. Maybe it's a. a you, I'm in, I'm in the U.S. So I'm, maybe it's a U.S. thing that no, I'm just no. seeing. I don't it's know. It's the whole world, man. But it just yeah. feels like everybody's kind of like about the individual. Well, you want to, you want the weirdest experience. I, I was like, my wife asked me to send something for her, and so I had to log into her Facebook while she was at a show, and mm. I, I had to go and find something to send it, and then all of a sudden her feed was popping up. And it was really weird to see someone else's Facebook feed because mm. it's so oriented towards what they feed you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we're all now mm -hmm. being fed content, like, you know, force fed, like you should look at this, you know, and it's like, yeah. versus, man, I remember days before social media where it was just like, you could slow down. If you wanted to talk to someone, you call them. Mm -hmm. And who mm -hmm. did you call that day? Well, whoever popped into your mind or whoever you ran right. into. You know right. what I mean? And it was much mm -hmm. more much more natural. Granted, I love social media. It allows me to also find people and it allows me to build out this platform. So I'm not all against it. But I am right, saying that sure. there, there is this very much a, a, a an inward shifting of me, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think maybe though, Maybe if these companies want to, to actually do something good, I hope I can <laughs> hope that at some point in time they might see the error in their ways. You know, there could be this thing that, you know, these platforms are reoriented towards sharing experiences and growing experiences mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. the algorithms could be introducing you to people that you don't know. And that's right. a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh,